Hey everyone, welcome to another Impact FX video. Um, I think I have a good one for you today. And this whole video, guys, is going to be why most people aren't very good at trading smart money concepts. And it revolves around a very simple yet highly important discussion, which is called inducement. Now, inducement is literally the whole point of the market trying to screw you up, okay? It, it, is, it is the market trying to confuse people who just don't understand market structure. Now, a lot of you watching this video, you might roll your eyes and say, oh, I, I, I know market structure. But I almost guarantee that most of you don't. And the reason for that is because no one's teaching you what inducement is and how inducement will actually manipulate you into thinking that the market is going to reverse and then all of a sudden you get taken out of your trade and you are left in wonderment of what the hell am I doing wrong? Everybody on YouTube says, well, if there's a chalk, then I need to be trading the reversal, okay? So let's put an illustration here quickly and dive into the entire concept of inducement. So tell me this, how many people, and you can write in the comments if you want, how many people would take this as a chalk? How many people would be looking for price to come in here to then go long? I bet you probably very close to 100% or 90% of the people watching this video right now, unless you're in the mentorship group, would be looking at this as a trade opportunity to go bullish. And the problem that you have in the Forex market is that you have not understood how liquidity is created and the act of inducement and what inducement does for the market structure trending markets and origins of price. So we're going to be teaching you today what inducement is and what and how to follow market structure origins. These are some of the two fundamental things that you as a, as a price action trader need to be learning. And it seems as though no one's teaching this stuff or they're not teaching it the right way, in my opinion, um, or they just, people watching videos are just not connecting the dots around what inducement is and how it manipulates structure and how structure is indeed formed. So here I'm going to give you my rules for inducement, how I trade inducement, and how I personally look at market structure. Okay? So, let's take these off and let's look at this price action. Now, based on this overall price action, we know that this is a lower high, this is a lower low, and this would be a lower low if price has done something like this, okay? Now, this price action right here is a perfectly mitigated price action because price action when it created this lower low and this lower low has now come back up into and rebalance the market, creating new structure. So when price creates new structure, you need to mark that this overall impulse is the origin impulse, okay? It's where supply has been formed. Why would this be supply, some of you might ask. Okay, so regardless of what this time frame is, it, this could be the one minute, this could be the four hour, this could be the daily, it literally does not matter. Because the market is fractal. 
That means that no matter what time frame you are looking at, this mitigation leg of structure, when price makes a lower low and then comes back up to mitigate this previous origin here, this leg of structure has an internal structure in it, okay? It has internal structure, meaning price was actually bullish on an internal time frame. So if you're thinking about this on the one minute, you really need to understand that on the five second chart, price is bullish, okay? Price in this leg of structure is bullish. Therefore, when price breaks its structure, it's now become a bearish market again, which aligns itself with the higher time frame external structure. This is very important. A lot of you guys are just not understanding this concept. Therefore, you are not putting the pieces together about what inducement and how price manipulates you out of your positions. So, when price goes from bullish to bearish, it creates new supply because price now has changed the internal order flow inside of this area. And when price comes back up into this zone, what do you think is happening? Price is going to, there's going to be a lot of orders resting here and here that do not want you to run this high. Because this high should be protected unless price wants to now break the structure. But this is where people get manipulated out of their positions because what tends to happen in the Forex market is that price will actually come up here. It will not mitigate and it will not mitigate this impulse and then it will create a lower low. So now what do you have? People believe that this is a lower high and this is a lower low. However, that is not true. When price does not mitigate this impulse, this is actually liquidity and it is inducement. Why would that be inducement? Because it's inducing sellers to think that price is still going to continue. So then what happens? Typically, the Forex market will change its order flow come back up to the inducement and the inducement will give you a retracement. Price will then break this structure up into the origin. Now, if you were looking at the higher time frame, you wouldn't see all this retracement. You would see a chalk. Then when price comes down, you're saying, oh, I want to buy. So now you think that this is demand when in fact, all this is, is internal demand for this origin, and then price keeps going and takes you out, and you're like, what the heck did I do wrong? The thing you did wrong is you failed to recognize that this overall liquidity was inducing sellers to keep selling, and then price comes back up to the origin that it failed to actually mitigate here, and then it falls. Now, some might say, well, Kyle, then how do you know what origin to take if price does something like this? This is where price has left behind an impulse. But price has mitigated this inducement. And what did it do? It broke structure again. So now this inducement liquidity has now created a higher time frame from here to here, a higher time frame fair value gap. And the origin is actually now here. Because price actually made new structure, therefore, you can now look to safely trade this trade 
with confirmation. And then eventually, when price reaches a higher time frame demand zone, you will probably see all of this liquidity get rid taken. And then price what? Will come into this unmitigated area, and then it will trend back down to this demand. Therefore, when you see inducement liquidity of the entire internal structure, you can actually trade the internal structure and then trade the selling back down to this demand. This actually, in terms of price action, will give you a very high probability setup. As well, it will give you a lot of RR inside of a single mitigation leg of structure because you are now smart enough to understand why price did this. Why price manipulated you out of this overall trend because you thought that if price does this, that is a chalk and then it takes you out. It's a very simple subject, but a lot of people have no clue how to trade inducement and how to recognize when the trend will continue and whether or not you need to be trading a deeper mitigation of this overall leg of structure. How can I get into this trend? And then how can I get into this trend while understanding all of this price action? Okay. It's a very simple subject. I don't need to spend too much time on actually the definition of what inducement is. If you want to define inducement in language, inducement is the act of price making a lower low prior to mitigating the previous impulse. That is what inducement is. And then you go on your charts and you put that there's liquidity there, and then you would wait to see whether or not the mitigation of the inducement causes a new low, and if it does, then you can confirm another potential trade here. Okay? So let's go to the charts and show you what this looks like on a bunch of different time frames. Okay. So let's look at this leg of structure. Let's look at the downtrend first, and then we'll look at the change. Okay? So we have a lower high, lower low. Lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, higher high, higher low, lower low. What happened? We created a lower low, but never mitigated the origin. This is not a chalk. This is simply price manipulating you because this is internal liquidity inducement. Price then mitigates the origin, comes back to the demand, and then keeps going. Right? Keeps going. So now what do we have? So now we have a lower high, Price never making another lower low, and then we make a lower low here. Now, if you want to mark this as a lower high, I would probably mark this as a lower high because we did take internal liquidity. Therefore, what do we have? We have a pullback, lower high, lower low, lower high, higher low, equal high, equal low, all of this is inducement for this. Now, in this instance here, what did price do? Price actually broke structure. So now if we map structure, what is this? This becomes now a higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. All of this is inducement because why? it pulled back and failed to mitigate the origin. Now, if you want to just do the little one minute candle here as your OB, that's fine. I like to mark both of these because that's a sell to buy. So that's a two minute order block. 
So price does not have to mitigate the last little tiny candle. So for some of you who are missing trades, that might be why. So in all of this price action, what happens? We then create a higher low and a higher high. But what did price fail to do? Price failed to mitigate the origin. So from here to here is a higher time frame order block. From here to here is a lower time frame order block. So if we go to different uh, uh, time frames, you can see there's a two minute order block. So could potentially all of this be inducement liquidity that will get run later, right? So let's start mapping what takes place over this current structure. Price comes back into this demand. And now we know that there is a origin here because this caused a new trend. Now you have to understand that this is still demand. It is the origin of the last higher low. Therefore, you could see a potential mitigation into here for a new downtrend. Or if price breaks this, you would have been trying to short, at least I try and short this impulse and then hope the liquidity goes. So let's take a look at what happens. Okay, so price comes under that liquidity and now we're starting a pullback. So let's see what takes place. Okay, this lower high, lower low is inducement for this. So now if people say this is a chalk, okay, you could potentially short or long to here, but it doesn't mean you're getting a new high. Okay, price now is coming into the origin. So let's see if this here is inducement liquidity for the extreme. Whoa. There you go. That was liquidity because price had all of this internal liquidity and all of this internal inducement is not actual structure for your major higher time frame impulses. Okay. So now when we have this new structure, where can we look for our origin? So now we have an origin here and we know that we have demand down here. So price right now is making an internal trend and a range between these two liquidity points. Price comes down into this demand. And now what do we have? We have potential inducement here for the origin. So if you want to confirm a trade here, that would be a B plus setup for me. But let's look at what happens. Price manipulates the liquidity and taps into the origin. Okay. So now we could have looked for obviously a short. And in this case here, for someone like myself trading the lower time frames, there was a 10 pip move and you would have gone break even. Okay. We would have gone break even. So this demand that had inducement caused a beautiful buy. This sell would have been a break even. And you should not have put a limit order or any trade here because that's just inducement. And so if you take a break even, no big deal. You still follow your rules every day. And now we start to map new structure and see what takes place. Because what happened? Price here has a new origin. And we have potential inducement. Now, this here has to be respected for us to believe that price is not going to take out this inducement because price needs to create a pullback and another higher high to create a new origin. Otherwise, all of this is still inducement liquidity for this and this. Remember, it's trying to induce you thinking you missed a trade. Okay, so price here now has tapped into this flip zone. 
So you could potentially be looking to confirm a trade here. I would still look for this here. So let's just keep mapping these this structure. Okay, so there you go, right? Because this got mitigated, causing a new high. That's a new origin. There's a valid trade opportunity here. And you partial at the high or hope that you get a higher high. Let's see what takes place. Okay, perfect. We got a higher high. So now we have a new origin. And this is inducement. Okay, we now have inducement liquidity because price did not create a new high and we have a potential new origin. Okay, we now have a new higher time frame order block here and you'd be looking for price to come all the way back down here. Okay, price did not do that and now we have a new high. Okay, so it did sweep this liquidity. Okay, we would have had a trade here and this would have broken us even or you would have been able to partial. Now for me, I'm not going to go into entries today, but you can clearly see that there actually was a change of order flow on the lower time frame. So a two pip stop loss would have gotten you a one to three. Otherwise you took a break even if you know how to manage your trades. And then we have another origin. Why? Because this never got mitigated and this is inducement. So let's see if price respects that inducement. Okay, so what did price do? Price took the inducement liquidity right here and now we're in this demand. So then if you're trading trending market, you would obviously hope that price makes a higher high. And if price breaks that, then you know where price most likely is coming down to because all of this at this point in time is liquidity, right? This is all left behind for these origins. So let's see what takes place. Okay, so price broke structure. So now, based on all of this, I see a lot of mitigation here, and we have a potential origin. Okay, now in this case here, price manipulated this, no big deal. And this now is an interesting scenario, because this is a chalk. And you have to remember, guys, when we mark these zones, you are confirming your trades. We are not uh, limit order traders, okay? So when I'm looking for trades, I am confirming my trades on the second time frames with structure. And at this point in time, it would have been invalidated based on my rule. So price ended up actually making a higher high. And now we're coming back down into this origin. We do have a supply zone here. Let's see what takes place. Okay, so this origin would have given you a buy opportunity, and then you obviously hope that price runs the higher high, but there's a lot of volume here, a lot of volume. So you'd probably anticipate potentially what? A mitigation, at least to this origin, because this was left behind. This is all inducement. Okay, so now price has come down off that, sweeping all of your inducement and then again you could confirm another potential buy position but it seems like we're probably getting pretty close into premium price so let's see whether or not price breaks okay so price now has broken structure and we have a lot of trend line liquidity here and price did not mitigate this area of price so let's just mark that as a potential opportunity and let's just see what takes place.
Okay, so now price has made a lower low after mitigating this area. Now, if we go to a different time frame, there'd probably be actually be a reason for that. Okay, so we had a buy to sell on the five minute that was not mitigated, so that's fine. And then you can clearly see we have an order block on the five minute. Now, the thing here, guys, is that price has now made inducement. And so in order to confirm this, this has to make a lower low. Okay, so right now, this could be inducement liquidity for our origin. What just took place? Liquidity for our missed origin on the one minute chart. Look at that. This works perfect pretty much 90% of the time because this is how price manipulates everybody. And again, what did we talk about in the intro? This is not a chalk. This is inducement mitigation for a low. In order for you to be buying, price has to respect this and make a higher high. This is all how easy it is to read price. And when you mark these zones and then you confirm them with lower time frame structure, you can get into trades, right? So what did price do? Price actually made a flip zone here. Right here. So there is an origin, but again, this could be potential inducement for this origin. Okay, now where are we coming back down to? We're starting to come back down into all of this liquidity that was left behind. Okay, let's see if we get a buy trade. Well, that's pretty nice. That's a nice buy trade. And then we can confirm if the inducement's gonna hold. But what did we say? Inducement likes to create pullbacks. And then it might come here. So let's see what takes place. Wow, that is exactly what we just described. Folks, inducement works this way all the time. It is the ability for you to understand mitigation. It is the ability for you to be able to read market structure so that you do not become liquidity. Okay, so let's see what takes place. Boom, tanks. So now where's our origin? We now have a new origin. And what is price doing? It's coming back for all of this left behind liquidity. All right, so let's see what takes place. Remember, we still have not perfectly mitigated this. So we still might come back for that. But what do we have? We have a nice trade on this origin. And again, these are really big moves. If you're a second time frame trader, that's a 14 pip move for me. So that's probably a one to four, one to five. Okay, all of these trades are readable when you know what price is doing. Okay, so what do we have? We now have another origin. Let's see if price respects it. Boom, we made a new low. So we got to come back up for the origin. And this is inducement. Now we're at the old uh, origin. Okay, so now where are we coming up to? So we had this liquidity, like I said, we had this liquidity that was left behind. So now let's see what price does. Okay, so this made a higher high. So this is indeed demand, but we are so you can clearly see we're in a downtrend. So buying this could be possible to what? This origin. Okay, no confirmation, right? Price rip right through. But now all of this is inducement because we made pullbacks prior to mitigation of the origin. Now we're at the origin and we could look for another sell. Okay, so now what do we have? We have another impulse and this looks pretty mitigated, not perfectly, but we also have this now. Right? And this is inducement. Okay? Price now 
it's creating more inducement. You could potentially look to buy up to fill the inducement. This is now demand. Okay, no sell here, no confirmation, but a really beautiful buy. And we are now coming into the, this. Let's see what takes place. Okay, no confirmation, still trending, right? So now price actually might be breaking structure, right? So you would need to see overall higher time frame break. Okay, what do we have? This broke internal structure. This is left behind demand because this broke structure. So now we have inducement. This is an origin. And let's see if we break structure. Okay, we've now broken structure. This is an origin. This becomes inducement unless price makes a higher high. Okay, we are now in this overall area of price, but there is liquidity below it. So this would not be a optimal setup for me. Okay, so price actually made a higher high. So now this is your new origin. Okay, and that's where price currently is. So this was all of the price action today. And you can see how price created inducement and how price you can learn to read when price is changing. And you know that if price makes a new high, you can map out all of your origins for some really nice trades. And then when price switches, you can start mapping out all of your origins for some really nice trades. And then when price changes, you can map out your origins like we did here, origin, origin. This is unmitigated. This created a higher high, so there's an origin. So we have a bunch of price left behind. So when you have the tools to understand what price is doing, you can go and map that for yourself all the time, every day, the exact same way. And if price decides to break one of your origins, then you know from a framework perspective that price is probably reversing because you have rules for how price needs to be. So this was a one minute internal example for the overall 15 minute trending market. So I hope this video has been helpful for you in understanding how you can read internal structure and manipulations and inducement in every time frame. This stuff works the exact same way as the higher time frame. And as you can see here, all of this was inducement for the origin. So guys, all we need to understand about price is create a framework for yourself that you can rinse and repeat every day and have some more patience in the overall market and you will start to see some success when you are implementing something the same way every single day. Okay? I hope you guys have a good one. We'll see you in the next one.